Welcome to your English class, grade 8, by teacher Jenny Diaz. First topic, describing people. In this case, we are going to use two structures, the structure of the verb to be to describe physical appearance and the structure of the verb have to describe uh, our parts, the parts of our body. Okay, I am told you are elegant, he is handsome, she is pretty, it is ugly, we are young, you are slim, they are short. And then we have with the verb have, I have big eyes, you have slim nose, he has small lips, she has long arms, it has nice hair, we have small nails, you have small nails, they have short hair. Esta estructura la van a utilizar para realizar sus oraciones, las cuales se le soliciten en el assignment. Then we have the next topic that is at the school. At the school we find different people, different personas, subject, clases o asignaturas, object, objetos, and actions. What people do we find? The teacher, the principal, the secretary, librarian, janitor, ward, academic assistant, or as assistant care, students, and consul. Then we have the subjects, math, Spanish, social study, science, physical education, civic, English, and artistic or technology. Some objects that you already know, pencil, computer, sharpener, ruler, notebook, book, calculator, between others. Then we have some actions, write, read, sit down, stand up, pay attention, be quiet, listen to, etc. In the assignment, you will find a picture for each of these words. So then we have the next topic that is present policy. We use the present policy to describe what is happening now. Para describir lo que sucede ahora. As example, I am studying. Estoy estudiando. You are cleaning. He is cleaning. She is dancing. It is cutting the grass. We are working. You are reading, they are cooking. And here we have some examples. I am studying English. Estoy estudiando inglés. She is cleaning the house. We are painting the wall. Como podemos observar aquí, los verbos tenemos el verbo normal más ing o ing. Para los verbos que terminan en e, we drop the e and we just add ing. Borramos la e y agregamos ing y nos queda dancing. Then we have another example of the verb cut. That is a monosyllable. That, that is the verb that finish in consonant, vowel, consonant. Cuando terminan nuestros verbos en vowel, consonant, vowel, y son de una sola sílaba, we double the last vowel, sorry, we double the last consonant, and we add ing as example, cutting, cutting the grass. And then the rest of the verb, we just add ing. Then we have the negative form of the present policy that is the same to describe what is happening now. And in this case, will be what is not happening. I am not studying. You are not cleaning. He is not playing. She is not dancing. It is not cutting the grass. We are not working. You are not reading. They are not cooking. Y aquí tenemos ejemplos, comple ejemplos completos. I'm not studying English. No, estoy estudiando inglés. She is not cleaning the house. We are not painting the wall. Aquí tenemos un errorcito y nos faltó agregar la palabra not. Y aquí tenemos la estructura. La palabra not irá después del verbo to be. Y esa será siempre la estructura que tenemos que recordar para crear nuestras oraciones negativas. Recuerden, subject, verb to be, not, and the verb ing. Thank you for your attention. In this occasion, I have here the assignment that you are going to develop. And here we have, first of all, a list of adjectives to describe physical appearance. There you have the examples in English and the translation, attractive, attractivo. So you can read all of them in your assignment. And then at the end, you will find some examples about the sentences and uh, you have to write 10 sentences describing your family and we have some examples 
Mary is an attractive pretty woman. María es una mujer bonita y atractiva. She is young, slim and round face. Ella es joven, delgada y de cara redonda. She has long hair. Ella tiene cabello largo. Y así pueden utilizar la estructura que les expliqué en el video hace unos minutos. Y there you have the link to follow the list of adjectives. Then we have the next activity that you have to do is write and draw the following vocabulary. And there you, we have the picture for the vocabulary. Teacher, classmates or students, principal, janitor, security ward. Uh, and here we have the, the people with some names. Principal could be uh, teacher Marta or teacher Argelia. And then we have uh, secretary, teacher Neri. Then we have head of studies, teacher Villas. Then we have the caretaker, teacher Marlene. And some actions, read, color, write, draw, match, paste, cut, circle, stand up, sit down. And then we have a uh, conceptual map about uh, the school, the places that we can find, the classroom, the playground, and the hallway. Then we have some objects, blackboard, book pencil, pen, eraser, desk, subjects, math, social study, music, art, English, and physical education, and some actions to do, we have read, sing up, stand up, listen, write, and yell, and some instruction, please listen, raise your hand, you can stand up. And then we have the last topic that is the present progressive, and in this case we have uh, a chart with a structure that you have to follow, that subject, the helping verb that is the verb to be, and the present participle that is the verb ing, and then you have how to form it. And here we have uh, another table with some examples into Spanish. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention.